Yo, 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 what it is, what it do, and the place to be, and I'm with my crew. I'm here with Chrome Music Lab, one of my favorite programs to use on the internet. It's free, and it's cool to make music with and have a whole bunch of fun with. So, we're going to click on Song Maker for this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use a program called Song Maker. It's pretty cool. What do you think it does? I don't know. Maybe make songs. Now, you can make songs of your own. You can copy other people's songs, but people have been having a lot of fun with this little program called song maker on chrome music lab and we are going to talk about all the lovely things you can do with this program now it says song maker on top and then it has a whole bunch of squares with some kind of darker blue lines i see some white gray white gray i see some dots on the bottom ones let's start with these blank squares that are in sections of white gray and white and gray those are going to be your notes they're represented by a rainbow color spectrum do to do, and then do all the way up to the next do. With no do on top, it stops at the pink, sorry. So right here I have two groups of rainbow colors on the major scale, right? And it's come from do to do, and we're gonna organize notes on the top squares to make our music. The bottom two rows are drum sounds, okay? Percussion sounds, ones that you're gonna make some beats with, and they're represented by circles as the bass drum or triangles as the snare drum and that's where all the drums go now there's different things down here we got to talk about that are really important that can really change the whole dynamic of your music now play means play everybody knows what play does i don't have to talk about that these are your instrument sounds the sounds that your colors make these are your drum sounds the sounds that your circles and triangles on the bottom make we're gonna go back and cycle through those when we get some music in there. I'll show you how that sounds later, but let's keep going. Tempo is a fancy word that means the speed of the song, how fast or how slow the music is, and it's measured by this number. You can raise that number to make it go faster or lower that number to make it go slower. It's measured in beats per minute. So if you put it on 60, that means one beat per second. It's measured in that dynamic with BPM, beats per minute. Let's keep going. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Now, I don't have one plugged in, but if you had like a keyboard that worked with a computer, you could plug it right into your computer and use your keyboard to enter notes into this program. But we're not gonna dive into that because I don't have one, sorry. The next one, mic, is going to be how you can use your, your computer mic to sing the notes that you want. Let's see how that goes, we'll, we'll give it a shot. I don't really use it much. Sing into your mic to add notes. Me. Duh. Obviously that takes quite a lot of time. I'm not gonna mess around with that. So that's just to show you that you can use your microphone, but. I wouldn't bother if I were you. This is my personal opinion. Now, settings are where all the meat and potatoes are. Undo means if you want to undo your last action, you can just click that and it'll take you back one step. Save, we'll get to that later. Let's check out the settings of all the things we can do. Length is going to be how long your song is. Four bars is the default, and that's why there's four sections of white, gray, white, gray. Let's say I doubled it. Let's say I put it on eight bars. Click the blue check to save that. Now you can scroll over and you have eight. Two groups of four, white and gray, white, gray, white, gray. So you need to basically see them as sections and those are called bars, which are measures of music. And there's four beats per each bar by standard because most popular music has four beats in it. But let's go back to settings and we'll have it on four bars when it comes with default. Beats per bar means how many beats are inside each of those little bars. Right now I see one, two, three, four. There's eight squares total before it gets to the gray section. Eight, eight. That's because each of those beats are split up, but we have four beats total. And that's why there's thicker blue lines, if you can see, separating each beat and a really thin blue line separating the splitting of each of those beats. So. I have eight squares in the white, eight squares in the gray. So that's going to be ta's. Like if you use quarter notes, if you wanted to do quarter notes, it would be ta like that. Ta, 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 ta. 
If you wanted to do toddies, you'd put one on everyone. Toddy, 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 toddy. Let's listen to that. Cool, let's speed that up. Maybe like 88. Toddy, 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 toddy. Or one and two and three and four and. Now, if we just wanted ta's or just quarter notes, we could count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So cool ways you can make patterns is like doing that, but mixing them back and forth. That's a really cool, simple beat you can do, but that's how the beats are split up. And I like to use the drums to demonstrate that. I have four beats in each bar, each measure. So that's pretty standard. What if we split it into two beats per bar? What would that look like? Oh, it makes them bigger. You see, now there's one, two. So a total of four, two groups of toddies or just two ta's like that. Ta, ta, and then it goes to the gray section. Let's keep it in four. You can do anything from three, four, five. You can get crazy with that, but most popular music, like I said, has four beats in a bar or sometimes three, but I'll stick to four for this one. Split beats into, that's what makes it split into toddies. What if I split it into one? Now I just have toddies. I don't have toddies or any way to split up those beats. Now I just have four toddies, four toddies, four toddies, four toddies. So I could go like that. Fill that out. Cool. Or if I change that into split into two, beats into two, it turns into toddies, but it keeps my original pattern. So I can go ta di ta, ta di ta. Or one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Depends on how you want to count it. So that's how I can make some really cool, simple drum patterns to get us started with. Don't want to do anything too crazy with the drums because it can get pretty distracting. I want to keep it nice and simple usually. Split beats into three. You can split them up into three. Like to for like a swung, kind of a swing. Do do da, do do da. Yeah, you can split it into groups of three if you want, which would be like triplets. Or you can get split into groups of four, which are takadimis. 16th notes or one e and a. So one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. Let's hear that. So that's how you want to split it into takadimis or one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. So you can split these into groups of four and that can. To totally change the dynamic of your song because you can have rhythms that are more complex, more, I don't know. You can totally mess around with that if you want. So that's the only thing you can do with that. Two, you can do it in one, two, three, or four. It doesn't really do much besides that. Let's do it in a four. Now, scale is pretty cool. Major is the way it comes. And that's why there's only seven notes before it starts over, right? But if you wanted to go only five notes, you could put that on pentatonic. Penta means five, tonic means notes. So there's five notes now. And that's like a, like a secret cheat code. Anything you put in pentatonic going this way to that way will usually sound pretty good. It sounds pretty like relaxing. Now the drums don't make it very relaxing, but yeah, you get the point. Pentatonic means there's five notes. One, two, three, four, five, before you get to the next red. That's what penta means. And anything you put in pentatonic, like I said, usually sounds pretty cool. But if you want to use all the notes, all those notes in between them, like if you looked on a, a piano, they have the white keys and the black keys. The black keys are all those notes in between the major notes that we had before, the original seven. Now we have chromatic. And you have the whole spectrum of a bunch more notes to use down here. And now you're going to have to use this guy to scroll up and down. Now you have all kinds of colors in between those colors to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve notes before the whole thing starts over. So chromatic uses every note, the whole spectrum, the colors in between the colors. So I'm just going to put it back on major for this one for now. 
Uh, start on middle C. You can change the note you start on. I recommend just keeping it to C. But if you wanted to change the, if you had an original song that you liked and you wanted to make the whole song move a little bit higher sounding or move the whole song a little lower sounding, you could change the key. We're going to keep that right here. Start on middle C. Keep that friendly. I wouldn't bother messing with that one too much unless you just want to experiment with it. Range is going to be how many groups of those colors they're going to have. Those are octaves. Now I have two groups. Let's go it down to one octave and see how that's looking. Now, instead of having a thick blue line in the middle and a scrolling up and down bar, this has only one range of red to red, but this time there's no top red because it doesn't repeat the pattern. So only one pattern going up and down. So oh, let's go back to two octave. I changed my mind and let's do pentatonic. And let's keep these settings. I like four bars, nice and short. Pentatonic for five notes to make it sound pretty cool. And like an Eastern vibe, almost like a Chinese melody, really cool. Uh, range, two octaves, I'll keep that. Beats per bar, uh, four, split beats into four, I like that. Blue check. Let's make some cool uh, drum patterns because I have all kinds of cool rhythms to with. Now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use one and a, or ta di mi. Leave the K or the E out and put a beat two. I'm gonna put triangles on every beat two and beat four of each bar. Remember, I have them split into one, two, three, four before it goes to the next section, gray. Now I have one beat, two beats, three beats, four beats. So each beat two and beat four, I wanna put a triangle on. I have a triangle on beat two and beat four. This is beat one and three is empty. I'm gonna put a triangle on beat two and beat four you don't have to do this but this is a way to make anything you put in sound pretty cool now i'm just gonna put some circles in around in different ways i don't want to put too many because it'll sound too crowded Uh -oh. All right, check out this cool beat I just made. I remember I have my triangles on every beat two and beat four. I could put more, but I like keeping it simple because a lot of popular music has the snare, that high sound on beat two and beat four of the drums anyway. Let's check it out. Yeah, and it repeats. That's great. Bread and butter sounds excellent. Now, let me let me make a little cool melody here up for the bass line. Now, cool little bass line I got right here. Yellow, skip one, yellow, skip one, yellow, skip one, orange. So I have this pattern. Repeat it. Change it. Yeah, it sounds pretty cheesy, pretty cool, like a nursery rhyme, but... Patterns that repeat themselves usually go a long way in music. No need trying to make it too complicated. And you want to be careful stacking notes on top of each other. If you put too many in this, it'll sound like too noisy right there. I don't, I don't like that. It's too busy. You can space out and put other things like that. But I'd, I'd, I would leave some room in between and you could be surprised what cool sounds will come out. Move 
these over. Check it out. Yeah, beautiful. I love it already. I'm so proud of myself and my beautiful artistry. <laughs> Let's keep going and see what comes here. I'm just going to be dragging notes. Remember, I'm moving this way to that way. Music reads like a book, left to right. I don't want to, I don't read up and down. It reads left to right. Check it out. Boom, here's the end of my song. Let's go. Yeah. I could jam that all day. Hey, yeah. Sounds beautiful because it's pentatonic. So you get the point. Yeah. So I hope that tutorial helps you in your quest to make beautiful music. And I want to see what you come up with. I want to see your creativity thrive. I want to see your beautiful musical creation. So here's how you share it. You're going to click save with that blue check member. And here's the link to your song, your personal, personal song. Click copy link and it saves your song. Then you can put that link wherever you want. You could put it in the comments of your classroom assignment. You could put it in the comments of this YouTube post. You could put it in the other link I'm going to put down in the comments. You could share the rest of your work with the world because I think YouTube deletes comments that have just links in them. So it seems to be deleting everybody's link when they try to share their music with me, which makes me sad. But yeah, you can share your music anywhere. You copied it by clicking that and it turns blue or, or gray or whatever color it does on your computer. And then you can paste it into where you want. So I hope to see your beautiful creations. I hope this tutorial helped you to make awesome music. My name is Mr. Baker, the music maker. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank y'all again for tuning in. I love you. Peace.